back to my channel or if you guys are new and here for the first time then hello welcome in today's video I am doing my Christmas decorate with me which I am so excited to finally be getting out for you guys it is my favorite time of year I love decorating for Christmas so so much I did get a new tree this year and I totally changed up my theme for Christmas this year I don't know why but I totally got rid of everything that I had last year and just started new. I am so happy with how everything turned out. I did have my two little helpers, which are my niece and nephew, helping me out in today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and get some Christmas decorating inspiration from it. I did also want to mention, if you guys wonder why I'm decorating the area and then just kind of cut to what it looks like, it's because I wasn't happy with a few of the areas in my house, the way that it looked. So I ended up going out to the store, picking up a few items to complete that area. So that is why it just kind of jumps to what it looks like. I have changed around a few things and added some more things since this video. And I also didn't show you guys a few areas in my house. So if you guys would like to see a full Christmas house tour, make sure to let me know in the comments down below and by giving this video a thumbs up. So I will be telling you guys where I got most of the stuff throughout the video. I will try to link as much stuff as I can down below if you are interested in purchasing any of them. For my tree, I did get my new flocked Christmas tree from Hobby Lobby. I absolutely love this tree so much. I definitely recommend it to you guys. You do not have to connect any of the sections. And every single tree I've ever had, even growing up, you have to connect each section so that they all light up. But this one, all you have to do is just put them all together, plug it in, and you're good to go. I've never ever had a tree like that before. Even my parents were very impressed by that. I did get most of my ornaments from Costco. They came in a huge package, it was really affordable. And then I did grab a few from Walmart, just some bigger bulbs and different decorations to just kind of accent it. For my tree skirt, I ended up changing this tree skirt out later on because I just don't really like the way that it looks. So if you do want to see a house tour, you guys will see it then. But this one that I'm putting on is from Target, I believe. It doesn't look bad, but I just didn't really love it, so I did get another one. I really love the way that my tree turned out. I love how I have the blush tones and golds and browns. I just absolutely love it. You guys will have to let me know if you like it down below. Next, we're moving over to my coffee slash cocoa bar area. This is the first time you guys have ever seen this because it is pretty new. I just recently picked up this cute little cabinet from Home Goods. So I'm just putting all of my Ray Dunn stuff, which you guys know if you've watched a few of my Ray Dunn hauls, I am literally obsessed with anything Ray Dunn. I'm not going to go into too much depth about it, but I absolutely love all my Christmas items that I was able to get my hands on. I love the way that this turned out as well. I did hang up a few signs, you guys will see, with some command strips just because I didn't want to put a bunch of holes in the wall. I would really recommend this if you're hanging anything on the lighter side. To grab those command strips, it just saves your wall from a bunch of holes. A lot of the other decorations that you're seeing, like the cute little gnomes and the signs, I either got from Marshalls, TJ Maxx, or Target. A lot of the stuff is from the dollar spot as well. They had a ton of cute things. This little ho 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 sign is from Michaels and my little niece wanted to say hello. You guys will see in just a second, I did a little DIY with one of these little metal houses from the dollar spot in Target and one of the Ray Dunn ornaments and I just tied them on there. I thought this looked very cute and I love the way that it turned out. You'll have to let me know what you think of my coffee slash cocoa bar setup down below.
moving over to my kitchen island, I'm going to decorate my little two-tiered stand that I got from Hobby Lobby. It's galvanized and I absolutely love it. So I definitely was not happy with the way that things were turning out. I knew I wanted the mug set up how I put them, but I just didn't really know what to fill the space with. So you guys will see at the very end of this how it turned out. I really do love everything the way that it ended up. I did get a bunch of this stuff from Joann's and Hobby Lobby, so I would try to link as much as I can down below for you guys. to my kitchen table I'm just putting the same table runner I had last year and I put this cute little vase it's from Joann's and then I'm just going to be putting some of this garland around these cute little trees I got both of those from Hobby Lobby I'm then just filling that little vase with a bunch of ornaments that I had left over I thought this turned out really great and then once I'm done with that, I'm just putting my placemats on. They do look a little funky without the plates, but I did actually get some Ray Dunn plates that look very cute on top of them. So if I do end up doing a full house tour, I will show you guys what that ended up looking like. I did also end up adding these cute little white ceramic houses and some trees from the dollar spot section, which I thought just tied everything together. Moving on to this little side area of my kitchen, I got this cute little stool from Hobby Lobby and I'm just putting two of my Ray Dunn mixing bowls on there. And then I'm just grabbing one of the pictures that I had and putting some greenery inside. I thought this turned out really cute and I just love this little area. I did also add some gnomes to this area, which I thought also looked very cute. Now we're moving on back to the living room. I'm going to hang my garland that I have. A lot of people have asked about this garland. I got it from Marshalls last year. I did see it again this year, so if you guys are interested, definitely keep checking back at your Marshalls or TJ Maxx. And the last thing that I'm going to do is hang my cute little stockings from the Target Dollar Spot section, and that completes my Christmas Decorate With Me. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed down below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Stay marvelous.